My grandfather made a movie back uh, during a book called There Will Be Light. It was a documentary. It got banned in the United States for over 50 years. And they said, why? And they said, it, because it's not pro-war. And he said, if I ever make a pro-war movie, I expect someone to take me outside and shoot me. That would be my take on it. So I'd say, actually, I hate, I hate the way that someone would say, why would you make a pro-war movie? You know, all these movies you see growing up in America, like, they're very pro-war. And this was, like, shocking to me because it wasn't something that I, I was used to and I was really honest. Like, I don't know if I would go as far as calling it an anti-war film. Um, I think it's, you know, you can interpret it the way you want. but it's definitely not pro-war. <laughs> it's definitely not pro-war. But it, you know, it goes to show, like, honestly, examples of what truly happens there and what truly happens to some of these guys and some of these really young guys who are inexperienced in life and young and naive and they go there and then they're just you know they're changed and um, you know polluted with this uh, you know this crazy war. It was just unlike anything I've, I've ever seen or read about um, the Iraq war and, and I think it, 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 it's a very uh, poetic book that moved me to tears and I think it, it was definitely a project that needed to be made. It was just an extremely moving story to tell. It didn't glorify war, which can tend to happen in a lot of movies, which uh, I think it gives a rather real depiction of what these guys go through. and. It's, it's not all uh, roses when you come back and it sort of uh, gives a rather in-depth look at the repercussions of things that we're sort of told to go and fight for sort of rather unknowingly, unwillingly. But um, you do it for your country and uh, what does your country do for you afterwards, I guess, another one. So it was, it was interesting, amazing character study. I read the screenplay before I read the book, but um, my first initial reaction, I don't know if I ever told you guys this, but when I read the screenplay, it scared me so much because I'd never read anything that was that shocking. It was, it was such an honest depiction of what war is and what it does to someone out of mental state. I actually said I, I didn't like the script because it, it's it, because of the way it made me feel. And then I, I, and then I later like, it just stayed with me. And then I, I thought, oh my God, this story needs Don't to leave you. This, this, yeah. This, yeah, but to but it reaction. needs to be told because, I mean, I was, I had never, I didn't know, you know, what war was until I read this. We did like a two week long boot camp and then uh, we were out in the desert for a couple nights. We were out there with like 20 guys and you just develop, I know it was only two weeks, but you just develop such a, a tight bond with with all these guys and I think that really, I mean, I hope it translates to the screen. But also shooting in Morocco, you know, it was, it was really uncomfortable for all of us. At times we were shooting in these villages and maybe the villages weren't happy that we were there. But you definitely felt that, you know, that nervousness that, you know, that un comfortable, you know, unwelcoming feeling that I'm sure soldier, soldiers would actually feel in northern Iraq. Shooting in Morocco was a, t a fantastic experience, but it's true that what interests me also was the, how war alienates, you know, th those young men. And, and so it was very important for the beginning yeah, to, to go and, and shoot this film in, in, in a remote area where we'll, where we'll feel that isolation and, and we'll have the, the landscape really be part of the film and, and, and really uproot all those guys. There's one aspect in the book and in the film, which is that this, obviously this war is never ending. That familiarity that, that America has with war, it, it's, it's, it's been there now for as long as we can remember, and it's very normal for young kids to just go to war. Like they're sending kids who, you know, 18 years old, who can't even drink yet. They've got three years before they're allowed to have a drink, but they put a gun in their hands and they're allowed to go and shoot someone. I mean, that's, uh, to me, it was like such a mad idea that, uh, you know, the it's effect also, it has. It's also crazy that, you know, a lot of kids that are you know, fighting for our country now are really, I think some are unaware of what they're actually fighting for. And in the book, um, a lot of characters say, you know, it was just, uh, I needed to do something and I didn't want to go to school and I knew I didn't want to go to work, so I just it. went to war. <laughs> and, you know, without even realizing the craziness that they're getting themselves into. Mm -hmm.